Hello everyone. Welcome to the gallery slider for WooCommerce Pro plugin demo presentation. Before showing the plugin features, let me tell you why the plugin is important for your online WooCommerce store. With this plugin, you can show the products of your online store in more details from different angles. For instance, you can create awesome gallery slider for each product with powerful features and also you can create gallery for product variations like color, style, size at the same time. All in all, it gives you access to every features and functionalities you might need in a product gallery slider. Let me show you how you can enhance the visual appearance of your product single page like this using the gallery slider for WooCommerce plugin. So without further any delay, let's get started. Once you have installed and activated the plugin on your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called OGallery slider. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will get all the features required to configure your product gallery. On the general settings tab, you can choose a layout for your thumbnails gallery. You can choose among horizontal, vertical and height thumbnails. Select horizontal to display your thumbnails gallery horizontally below the product image. If you want to change the positions of the thumbnails to top, then select thumbnail position as top and save it from here and then reload the page to see the changes. Then select vertical layout to display the thumbnails gallery vertically on the left side of the product image. If you want to change the position to right then set thumbnail position as right and then save it from here and then reload the page again to see the changes. If you don't want to show any thumbnails then set height thumbnails as gallery layout and then save and reload the page. See there is no thumbnails are showing around the product image. Set the number of thumbnails you want to show in the product gallery. By default only 4 thumbnails display in the gallery. Set a space between the gallery thumbnails. If you set it to 10 pixel and save it, then reload the page from here. Then you will see the gap is showing right here. Then you can set a border around the product thumbnail gallery and also you can change the color for the thumbnail galleries. And save it from here and reload the page to see the changes. Select a size for your gallery thumbnails. You can also set custom size for the thumbnails. Set the gallery width for large devices in percentage. By default, the value is set to 50%. You can also set responsive gallery width in pixel, percentage and em. Set a gallery bottom gap from here. By default 30 pixels gap has been set to the gallery bottom. This is the gallery bottom gap I am talking about. Set a source for the gallery images. You can either set to show all the images attached to this product or only the images uploaded to the product gallery. Check those boxes to include the product featured image to product default gallery as well as to the variation gallery. You can check both at a time. Now let's move on to the gallery settings. On the gallery settings tab you can turn on or off the gallery slider autoplay from here. When you turn it on, gallery slider will slide automatically like this. Set a autoplay interval and autoplay speed from here and choose a slider orientation, horizontal or vertical. When you select horizontal and sliding effect is set to fade, then the slider will slide like this. And if you select the slider orientation as vertical, you must need to set sliding effect as slide and save it from here and reload the page. Now you will see the change. 
set how many thumbnails you want to scroll at a time. By default the value is set to 1, if you want you can change it. Enable or disable the infinite loop, adaptive height, accessibility and RTL mode for RTL languages. Next is slider navigation. You can show or hide the slider navigation from here and also you can choose a icon from 8 different icon styles and change the navigation icon size from here and also you can configure the navigation icon color. So let's have a look at the front end. You can set how you want to display the navigations. If you want to show them always, then select the navigation visibility as always. Or if you want to show them only on hover, then select navigation visibility as on hover. So let's see when you select always how it looks. So they are showing when the page loads and they keep showing always. Now if you select on hover, then the navigation will display only on hover, like this. Show or hide the slider pagination and change the pagination color from here. If I select the color to red and save the changes and reload the page, you will see the pagination is showing right here. You can also show or hide the thumbnail navigation and also configure the thumbnail navigation icon, navigation icon size and navigation icon color from here. So this is the thumbnail navigation icon. So thumbnail navigation visibility is same as the slider navigation visibility. So if you want to show them always then select the always from the thumbnail navigation visibility option and if you want to show them only on hover then just select the on hover option. Then you can enable or disable the image zoom effect and when you enable the image zoom then you can set the image zoom effect like this. So let's change it to 3 and save it and reload the page. So this is the image zoom effect. You can enable or disable the zoom effect for mobile devices as well. Now the most important feature image mode. You can set an image mode from four different options. Grayscale, grayscale on hover, grayscale with active normal, active grayscale with normal. When you select grayscale as image mode and save it from here and reload the page, the image becomes gray. And then if you set grayscale on hover then the image will become gray only when you hover the image see the image become gray so this is how the feature works you can set an product image size from here and also if you need to set any custom size you can set custom size from here then set the value of width and height from here then you can also select hard crop or soft crop. Enable or disable the preloader for the product image. Now let's move on to the lightbox settings. In the lightbox configuration tab you will find all the lightbox related properties. Like you can enable or disable the lightbox from here and the lightbox sliding effect is set to slide initially but if you want you can set fade, rotate, circular and tube effect for the light box. So let's select the fade effect and save the changes and reload the page and let's see how the light box works. You can set a light box overlay background color from here and set a light box icon display position to top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left and middle. So let's set it to top left and save it from here. Now if you reload the page, 
you will see the icon is showing at the top left corner. You can choose a lightbox icon style from different options and change the lightbox icon size from here and also you can change the lightbox icon color, lightbox icon background and hover background color. Now you can show or hide the lightbox caption and also you can change the lightbox caption color. An image counter shows at the top left corner of the light box of the gallery images. You can show or hide it from here. You can show or hide the slideshow play button from here. So this is the slideshow play button. When you click on it, the gallery will slide automatically like this. Next one is thumbnail slide gallery. You can show or hide it from here. So this is the thumbnail side gallery button when you click on it you will get the list of your product galleries and by clicking on them you can change the products by clicking on the icon again you can hide it next one is thumbnail side gallery visibility you can check the box to show the thumbnail right side gallery like this one uh, if you don't want to show it then uncheck the box Social share button show or hide the social share button from here when you show it and save the changes Reload the page you will see a social share button is showing here when you click on it You can share this product via Facebook Twitter and Pinterest and also using the link you can share your product with anyone Show or hide the full screen button from here so This is the full screen button you can show or hide it from the plugin configuration tabs and if you want to allow users to download your products then enable this option and save the change reload the page a download button will be appear at the top right corner so when you click on it the product will be downloaded now let's move on to the advanced settings on the advanced settings you'll find two options so check this box to remove all the gallery slider pro plugin data when the plugin is deleted and if you want to change or modify the plugin styling then write the custom css here and finally when you click on the license tab you will find the license activation field where you need to put the license key to activate the license so that's all about the gallery slider pro for okmars plugin thanks for watching